When we look at the world today, when we read the news, it's clear there is so much suffering, so many places of violence. We just heard about the terrible earthquake in Turkey and Syria that has taken thousands of lives. We see the escalating violence once again in Israel between uh, the Jews and the Palestinians. We look at the Pope just returning from Africa, from South Sudan, that is torn by violence as well. We see the violence in our own cities, uh, the murder rates in, in Chicago, which is near to us. Our world is so broken and bleeding and in need of reconciliation, peace, and healing. That's why when we look at what Jesus does in the Gospels, he spends his days, his years of public ministry putting together the broken pieces of humanity, asking every individual that he encounters, where does it hurt? And then responding with compassion, with mercy, and with divine power. So he heals, he forgives, he preaches, he enlightens, he feeds. He ultimately loves people into wholeness and into uh, the integrity that the Lord wishes for us uh, from the beginning, before original sin in the Garden of Eden. We commit ourselves anew to being um, ministers of that reconciliation, as St. Paul um, bids us in 2 Corinthians, to be people of peace, to be people of hope and compassion, of mercy and service, that we respond to disasters abroad and we seek to serve the needs of people right here in our own community. There's so many organizations that are worthy of our attention and of our benefaction. I'm thinking of Catholic Relief Services, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul Society, Knights of Columbus, our Pregnancy Help Centers, all of these myriad organizations within the church that seek to love, serve, bless, heal, feed, um, educate, and take care of God's people. So as we look at the world with a, a heavy heart because of its suffering, we dedicate ourselves anew to be the compassion of Christ in the world. And we pray for all the people that are hurting and victims of violence, living in fear um, all around the planet. They are our brothers and sisters. And we lift them up to the Lord in, in prayer and dedicated to helping them.